Okay, I figured I might actually start a series of videos talking about the different battle and tactical avionics, especially as I am amassing quite a large collection of them. So this video is really just going to be like the sort of prototype pilot video, I guess, just sort of a proof of concept at least. And then I guess later on we'll just, production note wise, we'll just get into like using the camera and all of that stuff. So, first one I want to talk about today is going to be Void Cloak. Now this one is one that I think a lot of people have been really trying to get. I actually managed to get this in the uh, Veil Proxima. Actually I got this along with just a flurry of things, so I don't know man, I, uh, sometimes when you're in the Veil Proxima it provides massively. So. As you can see, as it reads, cloak enemies for 30 seconds, engine speed reduced by uh, to 25%, uh, cooldown is 120 seconds. Now I believe this one is a fully upgraded vo Void Cloak, but the grid is not upgraded, but I'm not 100% sure, I don't, actually I don't, I don't remember, okay? But essentially, this is how it works, when you click it, the inside of your ship basically turns red and this is how you know that the Void Cloak is active. If you're outside of your ship though, it's a little bit different. So normally you would expect uh, from video game logic that there will be a bit of a cloaking field and you would be able to see the outline of your ship. No, there's no outline of your ship whatsoever. So, as you can see, you can kind of still see a bit of distortion where the Itzel is invisible, but there is no distortion where the Railjack is invisible. So, yeah, after about half a minute, the Railjack will just pop right up again. So we will just wait for that. There we go. So the Railjack is back out of the Void Cloak, and the cooldown is two minutes. So for the next one and a half minutes, uh, that should not have been a difficult math to do in my head, we will not be able to use our Void Cloak as we are just waiting for it to come back. So that's basically Void Cloak in action. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. If you have any questions about Void Cloak or I guess any subsequent uh, battle or tactical avionic, uh, leave, leave that in the comments, namely of that particular battle or tactical avionic because that would make things a little bit more organized, I guess. Uh, I guess if you have any general questions about these battle or tactical avionics, feel free to let me know. Oh. Real quick, if you are going to use Void Cloak, I would probably recommend getting Tactical Level 4 because obviously then if you can't see your ship, you can always use your Omni Tool and get back to your Railjack, so that's going to be really, really useful. Okay, so, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!